Hi, welcome back to the Backpacker Coach. In this segment, we're going to be talking a little bit about tents and how to stake a tent in the wintertime. Um, this is the tent that I use. Um, it was made originally by Moss. Uh, Moss was bought out um, by MRS, and now they make this tent. Um, it's a four-season tent. Uh, four-season tents, I think, are really important um, in the wintertime. They're um, obviously heavier, but they're designed to be able to withstand wind, be able to withstand the snow, um, that kind of stuff. So they're they're definitely heavier. This one, this is definitely the most heaviest thing that I take for winter backpacking. This um, I just weighed this. It um, weighs nine pounds, four ounces, kind of heavy, um, and it's a little bulky, but definitely worth worth the weight for for backpacking. Um, and then also I have a sleeping mat. Um, it's a full length. Um, this one happens to be a one inch. I'd actually I want to still get a nice backpacking uh, mat that is has the rounded corners and then is a quarter inch that's um, rated for um, four seasons. Um, but down the road, those you know are very expensive, and so I'll eventually get one of those. Um, the other thing I wanted to talk about was staking down the tent. Um, there's actually quite a few ways to stake down a tent in the winter, but um, the way I'm going to show you here is there's ones that I use around the base of the tent and that's these guys. These are pretty cool. Um, these are made by MRS and they're just little aluminum little little aluminum half pipe things with holes in them and stick those in and eventually it'll freeze um, and it doesn't come out. These work really well. That's what I like to put around the edge around the, the tent part and then then there's these these are great for when you need to have um, a little more uh, stability and need to have it stronger. Um, something I use, like to use these um, around the rain fly actually and bury these into the ground. Actually I had um, found a set of these um, at um, REI and I didn't really like the ones on REI so I actually redesigned these had these ones specially made for me. These work, um, they're lighter, um, they will work much better, and uh, I like to design much better. And uh, I think they'll they'll do the trick. Um, there's another way that's even lighter than using these aluminum ones, and that's where you take a plastic bag, you put snow in the plastic bag, and then you bury that plastic bag, and then you tie onto that plastic bag. Um, I've seen people do that on different videos. Sounds interesting. I don't know if I would really trust the plastic bag though, breaking in high winds and that kind of stuff. Um, that kind of sounds a little scary, but if you're not in high wind situation, sounds like that would probably work pretty well. Um, that's definitely a light way to do it um, if you don't have to worry about wind. Uh, speaking about wind, um, when you're getting a four season tent, that is very important to know how it's constructed. Um, there are other tents out there that are not constructed very well and do not deal with the wind. I wanted to show you this with the last hunting trip I was on and we're going to cut to that clip. I haven't really done any hunting. As you can see it's very windy. Jim's tent is not doing very well in the extreme wind. There's my tent over there. see the other tent was not able to handle the wind at all that was not a four season tent that was a you know a cheap three season Eureka tent that somebody had and it didn't do very well um, it was bent all out of shape you could see the wind was completely you know destroying that tent um, my tent on the other hand was rock solid didn't have any problems um, stayed exactly where it was supposed to didn't budge and those were extremely windy conditions. And you can only imagine what it's like if you're camping and you're in snow and it could even be worse. So definitely think about when you're getting a tent, um, buying a really good four season tent. You can't um, go cheap on tents. Um, don't buy Eureka. That's just not a good idea. They're just cheap. Um, you have to go with a, a good, you know, a good name brand tent and uh, get something that's uh, you know is able to withstand 
the elements. And that's, that's about it for this one, and we'll see you next time out there.